Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's meeting with President Obama aims to ease tensions between the two countries. The meeting comes just a day after Amnesty International released this report, detailing how U.S. drone strikes in the North Waziristan region have resulted in the deaths of hundreds of innocent civilians, stirring anti-American sentiment and emboldening militants. We have to basically end the control, the impunity that human rights abusers have in that region, be they the U.S. and the CIA, Pakistani forces or the Taliban and al-Qaeda. Speaking at the U.S. Institute of Peace, Prime Minister Sharif called for an end to drone strikes in Pakistan. The use of drones is not only a continued violation of our territorial integrity, but also detrimental to our resolve and efforts at eliminating terrorism from our country. This issue has become a major irritant in our bilateral relationship as well. I would therefore stress the need for an end to drone attacks. The Obama administration has maintained that drone strikes target terrorists with precision while aiming to minimize threats to civilians. But Amnesty International's report suggests some of the strikes have violated international law. The human rights group is calling for an investigation. Was it part of a broader policy? Was it a com at a command structure level that this was allowed to happen? Was it an individual pilot who was behind the killing who chose and made that decision to do the killing? It depends on publicly disclosing what happened in these cases, who was behind it, which institutions, which individuals. Ties between the U.S. and Pakistan weakened after the Navy SEAL raid in Pakistan that led to the death of Osama bin Laden. Pakistani officials complained that the Obama administration didn't warn the country before swooping in. The U.S. claims it didn't trust factions of Pakistani intelligence with the information. A sign of mending relations? The State Department has announced the U.S. will resume $1.6 billion in aid to Pakistan. In Tuesday's speech, Sharif highlighted the two countries' common interest of a stable Afghanistan, a nation with an uncertain future as the U.S. winds down troops. I am, however, aware that the greatest challenge to Pakistan comes from terrorism and extremism. But Pakistan is neither a source of, neither a source of, nor the epicenter of terrorism, as is sometimes alleged. Well, the rhetoric has toned down in the dispute between the U.S. and Pakistan, but there remains a deep divide between the two countries. While this meeting at the White House is seen as a significant step, it's unclear how much it will really lead to rebuilding relations. In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.